Eichmann Before Jerusalem is a penetrating study of the life of one of the most notorious Nazis in a period in which he is generally little known, bookended by his activities during World War II and by his notorious trial, celebrated trial, infamous trial, documented by Hannah Arendt uh, in Israel in the early 1960s, Eichmann Before Jerusalem traces how this man reinvented himself, retold his story, and makes a really compelling case for the importance of pulling out these kind of alternate tellings of, or enduring tellings of the Holocaust uh, in a period that has not been adequately treated by historians till now. People who know nothing about the Nazi era know the phrase, the banality of evil. It is Stagna's great achievement to go to the real Eichmann and reveal him as he truly was, and not as Hannah Arendt depicted him. Not a bureaucrat, but an ideologue, and not a man indifferent to his crimes, but a man who delighted in his work of murder. In Eichmann Before Jerusalem, Steinitz revisits Hannah Arendt's famous thesis on the banality of evil, but now on the basis of a lot of new material about Adolf Eichmann, which shows that he wasn't just the nondescript, colorless bookkeeper and, and bureaucrat who really stumbled into evil just through lack of imagination. But on the contrary, he was a, he was a real imperialist, bragging, ideological warrior uh, who, who knew very well what he was doing and was a brilliant social manipulator. Eichmann Before Jerusalem is such a comprehensive, really detailed look at the extent to which Eichmann portrayed himself, himself in very different ways. One uh, in Jerusalem, but before then, after the war, uh, in, in a really uh, contrasting way. Uh, that is to say, he was one of the few in the post-war years to admit to and in fact celebrate his actions uh, in the concentration camps, in the extermination camps. And I think that gives us a new uh, window on him, but also on the societies elsewhere that allowed him, in fact, uh, to live during these years when in, she shows he could have, in fact, been brought to trial. Far from uh, commonplace or banal, in this book, Eichmann emerges as a conniving, very smart, consummate murderer. And the whole notion that he was not a cog in the wheel, not just um, executing orders, but intentionally, connivingly murdering people. I think to me that was new and I have read a lot of books in this category.